welcome back to Mindful Martha. I'm sorry, I know um, I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks. It's been a little zany. Um, as you know, I'm a school teacher, so the end of the school year is always a bit hectic and I really had to pour my energy into many changes at work and uh, challenges, which is actually what my topic is going to be today. But before I begin, um, I wanted to let you know, since it is summer here in New York, I will be releasing a video every other week, okay? Um, of course, you know, I'll do my best to keep the topics exciting and rewarding and meaningful um, on things that can resonate with you and help you or help a friend or family member. I want to thank all of you who have really been loyal and watching and sending me feedback. I really appreciate it and I'm so glad that my messages have been able to help so many of you. Yay! So I'm going to talk to you today about um, the importance of deciding whether or not what kind of attitude you want to have when there are a lot of changes in your life and challenges. So we all have choices. Some of us say we don't because we blame it on past experiences or current experiences or people from our past, toxic people. And so we tend to blame things on others because sometimes it's just an easier way to say this is why I am who I am or this is why I do what I do. However, you do have choices. You have a choice to live a life full of gratitude and happiness and peace and great things, or you can choose to have a life full of a lot of negativity and looking at the glass half empty all the time. You need to decide. It's raining outside today, it's gloomy. Now I'm gonna feel that way or it's raining outside, it's gloomy, but it's still shining in my heart and in my world, it's full of these radiant rays and I'm gonna feel great today no matter what. So we need to decide, am I gonna have a negative attitude or am I going to have a positive attitude? And depending on what you choose on, it's gonna rely on how your day is going to go. So for example, I know this has happened to most of us. We wake up on the wrong side of the bed, right? It could be we had an awful night of sleep or we literally woke up on the wrong side of the bed, like on the floor, and you hurt yourself. Or there are some challenges going on in your life right now that you're just so angry or sad about it or even depressed that now you set the tone for the rest of your day. And so now more and more negative things keep happening. Maybe you spill your coffee on a white top or you have a little fender bender or maybe you get to work and usually you get a spot, but you didn't get a spot today. I mean, the list goes on, right? So we have a choice. Once the first negative thing happens, we can say, oh, I know I'm gonna be off to an awful day. Or you're gonna say, okay, this is a little setback, but it's all right, because I'm still gonna have a good day. I'm not gonna let this ruin my entire day. So that was a shift I just did. It's easier said than done, especially when you've had a thread of negative things happening in your life. But remember, you are the one who defines it to be negative or awful or a tiny problem or enormous problem. Because what may be an enormous problem to me may be a different definition for you. You know, I look at an enormous problem as, well, I can't put food on the table. Whereas someone else would say, no, an enormous problem for me is I didn't get to get that designer bag I've been loving. And now I'm like so upset, right? So for everyone, we have our own definitions of what are those challenges or things that upset us or different sizes of problems. So now you're that type of person who's been feeling this way for so long. How do you get out of it? 
Martha, I've always been like this. I can't change it. You know, I don't like to smile. I'm not a giving person. And I really don't care what other people feel or thinking. I'm worried more about myself and my feelings because of what I've been through. I get it. However, don't you deserve more? When you see other people who are really happy and they have wonderful things happening in their life, maybe you're a little jealous of them. Maybe you're saying, I want a little bit of that. What's holding you back? You can do that too. You can have all those things. It drives me a little bonkers when people are like, oh, she has more than me or he has more than me. And why does, you know, she get a new car? Why does, you know, he get, you know, that new position at work? Or why do they get to have the house of their dreams? Well, there's an abundance for everyone. You know how they say jealousy is the root of all evil? It is. And when you become jealous of others and you wish bad on them, well, karma is gonna come and give you a big fat kiss and it's not gonna be a sweet kiss. I wake up every day with a grateful heart, grateful for everything I have. Now, many of you do not know my upbringing and my past, but if you did and you look at me today, you would say there is no way you were able to overcome all those insurmountable barriers. But I did. I did because I had to change my attitude. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do today. Change your life to live in the moment, to be happier, to feel good about who you are, to give yourself self-care, to celebrate the little things in your life, to reward yourself, to not be afraid to take that leap of faith and say, you know what? I have been stuck in this spot for so long. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready to move out of this and have a more happier, more positive life. Because when you have a positive attitude, it comes contagious. More people want to be around you. People feel good around you. They feel that positive vibe and energy. And it helps you grow more as an individual. It makes you feel better about who you are. And eventually, you'll want to start spreading the seeds of kindness. And you'll want to start helping others. Because it's such a gratifying, rewarding feeling when you can do that. We all have the potential to do it. It's just taking the first step. So I hope that resonates with you. Please think about it. Think about how you can make your life better each day. Cherish each moment. We don't know how long we're here for. So it's important to have that gratitude for our lives. Think about how many people are very ill. And I know you're saying, well, you know, I know some people have it worse than me, but also some people have it better. You're right. But life shouldn't be a competition. It shouldn't be about she has more, or he has more, etc. It's about you. What do you want? Where are you going to go with your life? What are the things that bring joy to your life? And you may have a different definition than others, and you probably will, and that's okay. And that's your first step, that being okay with it. You can't worry about others because you will always have critics in your life. You will always have people who would try to bring you down. You will always have people who will be jealous of you, envious of you, and would love to see you fall so they can laugh. But you have to rise above that. Shake off the dust, rise up above it, and remember how important you are and not paying any mind to those haters. Because like I said, they will always be there. But as long as you have that self-love, that self-confidence, and that positive attitude, and you start to surround yourself with people like that, which are part of your gifts in life, when you have people who are that amazing, make sure you give so much gratitude to them because they are super special. And once you have your squad, and you have all those great things in your life, you're gonna continue to blossom and you'll see. You'll have the life you never thought you would. 
So, happy summer to all who are in the East Coast, um, at least up this side, up north in New York. And to those of you who are experiencing different types of seasons, I hope that it's going well over there too. I'm sending all of you much warmth and love and just happiness and inner and outer peace. And may your days be filled with so much sunshine and fond memories. Thank you for tuning in to Mindful Martha. Um, in two weeks, I'll be releasing another video. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment or press like, um, subscribe. I do truly appreciate it. And I do appreciate you and your time. I know it's precious. So thank you for tuning in. I'm sending all of you big heart kisses. Gracias, adios, bye guys.